This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate all my Capricorns out here. We got some Leo energy here. We got the strength card. The universe is providing you with strength when it comes to a situation, especially for those of you going through a dark time right now. Somebody can have an eight year old. So for those of you that are having a dark time or just going through a dark period in your life or maybe even in a relationship or job, we do got the death and rebirth. So something is coming to an end. Somebody can have a 13 year old. This is the indication of a new beginning for a lot of my Capricorns. We do got the temperance. This is something that's gonna actually balance you. 14 can be important to you too. We got the three of swords. I am seeing some of you were played with. I am seeing someone toy with your heart and toy with your emotions. We do got the four of wands. We also have the lovers card. So for some of you, this could be the end of a relationship. For some of you, this could be the beginning of a new relationship as well. Your first time to get the lovers card. So some of my Capricorns are definitely gonna be in a relationship very soon. Somebody can have a six year old. We got the ace of swords. This is coming in for you. We got the Empress. Somebody can have a three year old. This is definitely my Capricorn's energy right now. We got the seven of pentacles. Some of you could have invested into something. I am seeing a big turnout for that. For those of my Capricorns that did make an investment recently. Take what energy resonates once again, of course, and leave what does it for somebody else. I do appreciate every single one of you. We do got your children are washed over by angels. So for a lot of my Capricorns that are worried about the safety of their kids right now, we got new beginnings and a fresh start. So we have the death and the rebirth. So this is definitely an indication of a new beginning. For a lot of you, I am getting this is love-wise. For those of you that are wanting love right now, we have the person that you are asking about is trustworthy. So have faith in this connection, Capricorn. Don't, you know, give up just yet. Or don't, you know, take all the red flags and just run. Nobody's perfect. You're not even perfect, you know. So this person could have seen red flags with you, but they didn't give up. But you gotta also know your worth. You've created the situation and you have the power to change it. So for a lot of my Capricorns, you could have put yourself in a hangman situation and now you're in hermit mode trying to figure out what to do. We have self-respect. That's the start. For a lot of you, you disrespected yourself by even allowing something or accepting something. So this is first acknowledging the fact that you're not respecting yourself. Your self-respect is what makes you more romantically attractive and what makes you appear to others. So that's a big thing. You know, people see or, you know, guys or girls see that you don't respect yourself, then they're not going to respect you. We have detached from the situation. So for a lot of my Capricorns, respecting yourself is going to be walking away from a situation right now. Some of you, this is a situation shift. For some of you, this is a relationship. We have you and your loved ones are safe. We have you and your children are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. My Capricorn's family is a big priority to you. Huge, huge. We got energy and healing work. That's what's coming in for you right now. We got shield yourself. So we have self-respect, shield yourself. Yeah, a lot of you are giving people too much access of you. People have too much access. That's the problem. We have to admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. So for a lot of my Capricorns, we do got some Capricorn energy. Somebody could be dealing with another Capricorn, but this is also you having that reality check with yourself and just kind of making it be known where you're wanting to go and what you did for a lot of you. This is you acknowledging the fact like, hey, you know what, I shouldn't have did this or damn, why did I do this? Or why did I go about this like this? Or I shouldn't have even gave this person that much energy. And this is you acting accordingly. We do got manifestation. This is what you're manifesting right now. We got the lovers card. Now we got romance and connection. So for a lot of you, I'm definitely getting my Capricorns of manifesting love. Manifesting blessings and abundance. So you want love, you want money, you want peace, you want stability, you want a change, you want an opportunity. We got the death and rebirth, new beginnings and a start, opportunity and change. This is everything that you've been asking for, Capricorn. This is literally everything that you've been wanting. We got self-respect. Self-acceptance. Okay, so we have self-respect. Now we got self-acceptance. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this is also you learning to love something about yourself and getting through an insecurity. We've seen detach yourself from this situation. Now we have cut the cord. So this is definitely an indication that if those of you, your intuition has been telling you to walk away from a situation or just to no longer deal with someone anymore, this is really the time to do that. Have the courage and bravery to go ahead and cut this person off. You don't need them. For those of you that have convinced yourself that you need this person in your life, ask and receive. Ask the universe for the ability and the strength to be able to walk away. And you will receive it. Continue to pray and manifest. At the bottom of the deck, we do got harmony and resolution. So things are going to work out and turn around for Capricorn, 
even if Capricorn doesn't see this happening right now. I do appreciate all my Capricorns. Thank you.